what is up everybody night batman here with another trailer reaction and review and today i'm gonna be reviewing and reacting to the latest and supposedly official final trailer for kong skull island i'm really excited for this movie uh i'm surprised that we actually got this trailer that is supposedly the final trailer because we had a trailer uh a few months back that was supposed to be the final trailer but you know i can't complain because i'm really excited for this movie and i can't wait to see more of kong in action and especially how this is gonna lead into the big godzilla versus king kong movie but uh before we even get into more of that let's just jump right into that final trailer mm. yeah i saw that already Uncharted Island. Let me list all the ways you're gonna die. Rain, heat, disease carrying flies. <laughs> and we haven't started on the things that want to beat your life. <laughs> we'll double that. Plus a bonus if we make it back. If yeah. in this studio part of the city where the sun removes to shine. Oh there we go. Is that a rocket? Oh, 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 holy shit. Whoa. Man, I would not want to be on that. It's calm. He's gone on the island. We don't belong here. But the devil slipped below mm. us. I call him Skull Crawl. Why? Because it sounds neat. Okay. Look, I just made that name up. I'm trying to scare you. <laughs> I'm fine calling them that. Are you cool with that? Yeah, that, that seems like a I good idea. I like the name. Like Oh, 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 holy shit. What the man that was holy man that is so much king kong goodness in one trailer okay so uh first uh let me talk about the music uh at first i wasn't really digging how they were playing a song throughout the whole uh the entirety of the trailer i was hoping for something more epic but then man the song really got more epic in that big chorus or at least what i call the chorus of a trailer where you know things just really build up and you know it's just seeing more of Kong in action and more of him fighting the skull crawler him just tearing off all those branches from that big tree just so there's no wind resistance and he can easily beat the crap out of that skull crawler was so freaking epic and seeing him take on the the multiple skull crawlers is really getting me hyped and thinking this could be even better than the fight between king kong and the v rexes in the 2005 peter jackson movie it's cool to see uh, a little more of tom hiddleston's character talking and showing how they will definitely be relying on his uh survival tactics i'm liking a lot of the point of view scenes like uh looking down the barrel of a gun like a first person shooter game or like even how you feel like you're in the middle of the action like that that shot in the helicopter while the two guys are being uh held by uh kong well the helicopter is being held by kong and seeing him like raise it up in the air was just so uh just so amazing to watch and it really made you feel like you're in the action but also made you like it also made me feel a little terrified if i was actually part of that and man everything is just looking so good 
Kong's uh, overall uh, computer generated work is looking so great. I think that it's also really awesome how um, it, it kind of, even though they're really changing things up so that it can fit into this whole uh, monarch or muto universe, like, you know, because they're trying to create this universe where Godzilla and King Kong and, you know, the other creatures in their movies all coexist in one uh, cinematic universe. I like how with this they're really amping it up and you know they've made kong bigger but he's still a young kong so by the time he's a lot older and by uh you know maybe he catches up on timeline wise with godzilla he's gonna definitely be a lot bigger because i heard this kong is in his teenage years and he's only about 100 feet tall anyways i like how even though it's uh kind of it's straying from the original roots it still feels like it's honoring the original king kong with how kong is um, you know, you can see a bond between him and the female character played by Brie Larson. Brie Larson is really great in this trailer. It looks like um, she's going to be a character that uh, the audience can, uh, you know, really get attached to. And I also like a lot more of the comedy in here. John C. Riley again, adding some good humor. Uh, Tom Hiddleston blending in well with the action and the humor as well. And uh, I admit, I was still kind of thrown off by how much comedy there is in, this, is in this movie. I thought it'd be a little more darker and serious, but... You know, I can't complain about the humor and, you know, it, it's going to definitely bring some, uh, like, it's going to lessen the tension and, you know, make it a little more easier to breathe and uh, less gloomy and edgy and, you know, just make for some good time at the movies. Now, I saw I saw the clip on YouTube of how they first come across Kong and I thought, wow, that was a, that was a really cool way to introduce Kong and I'm really, sh I'm pretty sure this is the way we first see not only Kong but also how they all see him for the first time and... Um, this trailer shows even more of that where he's sw just swatting down helicopters like flies and again back to how it's kind of relating more to the original uh, King Kong when I'm seeing this it kind of reminds me of how he's uh, trying to attack the airplanes that are shooting at him but I like how this puts a spin on it because he's a lot bigger than how he was in the original King Kong and even in the 2005 remake and the 1975 remake and you know this is his biggest size but I love how it's still showing his power and rage and, um, you know, animalistic behavior. And it's just so cool to watch. And I can't wait to see more of this Kong in action and especially more of the fights with him and the skull crawlers. I bet those are going to be really, really awesome to see. So um, that has been my trailer reaction and review to Kong Skull Island. Right. Uh, the trailer is called uh, Rise of the King. And it's now the official final trailer. Uh, if you guys would like to check it out, please click on the link here or please click on the link in the description below and you can watch it without my reaction because man, that was a really fun, really epic, really, really hype inducing trailer. I can't wait for this movie. I love King Kong. I just wish that there were more King Kong movies, you know, because he's a really cool monster and Godzilla has like, I don't know, I think 20 plus movies. And, you know, whereas King Kong, he's only had his original um his two remakes the sequel to one of the first remakes and even the godzilla versus king kong original movie that came out years ago but now it's cool to see that they're bringing him back and that they're gonna have him share the un uh, cinematic universe with godzilla and that they're increasing his size even though at first i was opposed to it i can't wait to see him really stand more on his own and uh you know just show how great of a giant monster he is because i really love king kong i love godzilla and king kong but i guess it's just harder to really enjoy king kong because you don't get as many movies or products as godzilla so uh i want to actually just say right now that uh when godzilla and king godzilla versus king kong finally comes out i'm gonna probably lean a little more towards uh king kong side uh i mean i want both of them to win i know it's probably gonna be a draw as per usual versus movies but um uh, I would be a little more towards Kong because I just like he, how he can be an emotionally sympathetic character, but he can also be very strong and independent and very brave and, you know, just take control whenever he feels threatened and, you know, just be a very dominant creature. So that has been my reaction and my review for the final trailer for Kong. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it and take care. Later.